Hello everyone. Cloud uh, computing is a very common, you know, commonly heard about. Cloud, cloud, cloud is used everywhere. <clears throat> cloud is talked about <clears throat> in a number of applications. We make use of different clouds for our different services. So let's understand what is cloud computing. <clears throat> So, cloud computing is actually on-demand access via internet. You can access you know, on-demand with the help of internet to computing resources such as applications, servers. Servers you can access physically as well as virtually available servers. Data storage you can access. Development tools you can access. Networking capabilities and many more at a remote data center. So, what is cloud computing? Is, you know cloud is there for everyone it rains for everyone and I'm from remote place isn't it so cloud computing is on demand access to either application servers data storage development tools network network capabilities and so on this is what is called as cloud computing <clears throat> it's managed by cloud services provider CSP and cloud includes virtualized IT infrastructure servers such as operating system software, networking and other infrastructure that are abstracted using special software pulled and divided respective of physical hardware. You know, this, uh, the, the people are learning about Python and other open source software and they say that Google Collab and then they, they talk about that, you know, they are taking help of cloud. Their data is in cloud and whenever they are writing something, it goes to the cloud like that. <clears throat> So this is uh, one picture that uh, indicates that applications, database, you know, mobile, storage, servers, you can have on-demand access to all these, either data storage or mobile applications, you know, mobile apps. You use mobile apps for different services. That's nothing but cloud computing, applications, databases, and servers. So uh, talking about cloud computing, there are clouds available, which are private cloud, public cloud, and the hybrid cloud that combines the features of public as well as private. So what are the advantages? Data security is there. You know, your data, your, your, your system is away from the cloud. So backup and restore the data. Improved collaboration. You can collaborate with any server or network, you know, from remote place. Excellent accessibility. Low maintenance cost since... Uh, a lot of things are there at the cloud level, so you do not need to maintain that mobility from anywhere, you know, anytime you can access the cloud services, services in paper use. Uh, this is the scheme, unlimited storage capacity. Uh, you can just store anything, you know, <clears throat> be it uh, a Google uh, uh, based clouds or even in YouTube, you know, you upload anything, whatever you want, so you can have access to the data storage as well. So what are the benefits? <clears throat> it lowers IT cost. Cloud offloads some are most of the cost and efforts for purchasing. Otherwise, you will buy, installing, configuring and managing on-premises infrastructure. You do not have to have your own infrastructure in uh, the premises. Improve agility and time to value. Organization can start using enterprise applications in minutes instead of waiting weeks or months for IT to respond to the request. Purchase and configure supporting hardware and install software. Scale more easily and cost effectively. It provides elasticity instead of purchasing excess capacity that sits unused during slow periods. You can scale capacity up and down in response to spikes and deep in traffic. So even <clears throat> there is no traffic if you have a server and it's not being used, that's wastage. But when you are using cloud, whenever, whatever capacity you need to use, just use that much. So scaling more easily and cost efficiency is also there. So what are different types of, you know, cloud computing services? These are infrastructure as a service. You can take infrastructure as a service and then platform as a service and software as a service. So you can say uh, IaaS, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service and software as a service <clears throat> so talking about software as a service it's also known as cloud-based cloud-based software or cloud applications 
that is hosted in the cloud users can access via web browser a dedicated desktop client or a api application interface that integrates with a desktop or a mobile operating system so you can see social networks mail services document management business services you can have access to this what is important is you want to have access with the cloud applications or cloud based software maybe microsoft 365 google apps go to meeting constant contact oracle crm netsuite working salesforce.com and so on so there are many you know application softwares you can uh, just access through the cloud using saas users uh, you know take advantage of new features as soon as the provider gets them so auto update facility is there even you are using some google app auto update facility is there so you do not need to update your sub users don't lose data if their device crashes or breaks down you don't lose your data is always safe SASS is the primary delivery model for most commercial software today then comes you know PAS where you can access programming languages application frameworks databases and other tools platform as a tool it provides software developers with on demand platform the platform includes hardware complete software package infrastructure even development tools for running developing and managing applications without the cost complexity and in inflexibility of maintaining that platform on premises you do not need to maintain cloud provider host everything including servers network storage you know operating system software middleware databases and their own data center developer simply pick from the menus to spin up services servers and environments they need to run build test deploy maintain update and scale the applications then comes infrastructure as a service it provides on demand access to fundamental computing resources physical as well as virtual servers networking and storage or and over the internet as you know a pay as you go basis you can have computing access storage networking and load imba load balances using infrastructure as a service so you can say server storage network and virtualization and uh, it enables end users to scale and shrink resources on as need basis so whatever is your need accordingly you can use it reduces the need for high upfront capital expenditures or unnecessary on premises for own infrastructure or for over buying resources recommended periodic spikes in the usage serverless computing there is another term it offloads all the backend infrastructure management task provisioning scaling scheduling patching to cloud provider freeing developers to focus all their time and effort on the uh, code business logic specific to their applications serverless runs application code on it you know per request basis only in scales the supporting infrastructure up and down and that to automatically in response to the number of request based on the number of and the load of requests customers pay only for the resources that is being used when the application is running otherwise not needed they never pay for the ideal capacity so high scalable and flexible operation is there real time data updates and transfer is there in serverless and provider own server maintenance is there you do not need to maintain by your own so what are the types of cloud computing as we mentioned public private and hybrid public cloud uh, is it, you know it makes computing resources anything from software as a service applications to individual virtual machines to bare metal computing hardware to complete enterprise grade infrastructures and development platforms available to users over the public internet so with the help of public internet you can have access to you know all these softwares publicly available you know these resources might be accessible for free or access might be sold according to subscription you may either have subscription or free subscription or pay per usage pricing models cloud provider owns the cloud provider who is providing the service owns manages and assumes all responsibilities for the data centers hardware and infrastructure with the customers workloads run it typically provides high bandwidth uh, you know network connectivity to ensure high performance and rapid access to applications and the data public cloud is multi tenant system so many you know <clears throat> uh, can access the system data center infrastructure shared by all public cloud customers amazon web service Uh, google cloud ibm cloud microsoft azure and oracle cloud are the examples of you know uh, 
uh, these are publicly available cloud private cloud in which all cloud infrastructure and computing resources are dedicated to and accessible by one customer only it combines many of the benefits of cloud computing including elasticity scalability and ease of service delivery with the access control you have your own security and resource customization of on premises customization or infrastructure hosted on premises in the customer's data center but also be hosted on independent cloud providers infrastructure on built on rented infrastructure house in an off site data center so this is you know a comparison between public and private public uh, cloud publicly shared virtually resources privately uh, you know shared virtual virtually resources it supports multiple customers and it supports cluster of dedicated customers not all publicly available supports connectivity over the public internet it connectivity is there over internet fiber or private network and suited for less confidential information here the confidentiality is high suited for secured confidential information and core systems so cloud environment in which all infrastructure and computing resources are dedicated accessible by one customer and it combines many of the benefits of cloud including elasticity scalability and ease of service hybrid cloud is a combination of public and private cloud environment ideally hybrid uh, you know cloud connects and organizes private cloud and public cloud into a single flexible infrastructure for running the organization applications and workload this enables the organization to meet technical and business objectives more effectively and cost effective efficiently than it could with public or private cloud so it it you know takes help takes benefit of both public and you know public cloud scalability cost efficiency unlimited storage pay as you go are the features talking about private single tenant high security multi tenant is there in public cloud high security flexibility full customization in private hybrid scalability security cost efficiency unlimited storage so is you know the combined salient features are there both are private and uh, public cloud lastly talking about the security because when you are using cloud security plays important role because you know you have shared responsibility for security data encryption methods are used user identity and access management has to be there collaborative management has to be there security and compliance monitoring so automated security centralization centralized security reliability ease of access ease of management you know and cost optimization are very very important factors while using the cloud in terms of security accessibility flexibility and scalability so hope this uh, you know lecture on cloud computing would help uh, all the you know especially the new learners what is cloud because all of us are either using google apps or other apps or other open source platforms where we depend on the cloud we use the you know services of cloud so let's understand what is the cloud and uh, i hope you like this video if you like it please do not forget to comment spread with your peers and friends and uh, also requesting you to subscribe to the channel thank you so much